the Madrona Gallery and we're celebrating the opening of an art exhibition for our GNS art students and this project was completed by both the youngest students at the junior campus and the oldest art students at the senior campus. So we started off with uh, the senior school kids. They picked somebody from popular culture, somebody that they thought a junior campus student might recognize, and they did a highly detailed uh, facial portrait on canvas. And then when they were done, we went on a field trip uh, down memory lane to the junior campus where they worked with the uh, junior kindergarten students in their art class. They each teamed up with one of them and explained in kid-friendly language who this person was and then their younger partner drew in a body and a background, maybe some, uh, I don't know, birds or butterflies or lots of suns. So you're doing a practice round, just to make sure it's all good. I think it's going really well. Wyatt has drawn a beautiful body here. These bubbles are very, very awesome. Kind of made him look like an angel. I don't know. And he has two tails, and he has three arms, so that's pretty, pretty different. There's a lot of variables. You don't really know what's gonna happen, but <laughs> we'll see. Older students took these canvases back to the senior campus and spent a good month working on how do I stay true to the image that these younger students created but still create um, form and space and add color uh, but leaving it something that they would recognize. So um, I think they did a great job. My painting is um, of Mary Poppins uh, melting in the sun because she's on the beach. It's like kind of cool, like seeing the kids and seeing how the, the heads work and like all the creative like imagination. I think it means a lot to the students. I think so often uh, in high school and middle school, you're creating art, but it's for such a limited audience. It's always shown in the school, and your parents see it, and your teachers see it. But bringing it out there into the world is really valuable for these kids, because after all, art is visual communication, and we need to get it seen in order to communicate, and I think it makes it really valid for them. She is quite different before she was famous and after she was famous. So I try to show like how she changes after she became famous and what she didn't change. when working with the kids to make sure that it was staying true to what they had done. A sky setting in the middle of the ocean and his tie turned out to become a butterfly. That's a butterfly. There's two butterflies.